Unitech Limited is India's second largest real estate investment company, and has recently claimed to be the largest real estate builder in the country. The company is based in New Delhi and ranks 1484, in Forbes Global 2000 listing of the top 2000 public companies in the world by Forbes magazine, 32nd in India. Its construction business includes highways, roads, powerhouses, transmission lines, and it has residential projects called Unitech Cities, Uniworld, in cities like Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Bhubaneswar, Chennai, Hyderabad, Mohali, Bangalore, Kochi, Noida, Greater Noida, Agra, Lucknow, Varanasi, Gagaon, and Ghaziabad. Past joint ventures LG, Unitech, Hyundai, Unitech Singapore Consortium, Unitech Carlson Radition, Unitech Topic history Founded by five partners, Ramesh Chandra, Dr. S. P. Srivastava, Dr. P. K. Mohanty, Dr. Ramesh Kapoor and Dr. Bari originally formed as United Technical Consultant Private Limited in 1972 as a soil investigation company. They later moved into civil engineering contracts in 1974. The company began to enter into real estate in 1986, and started to increase focus on real estate in 2000. Today, it is India's second largest listed real estate firm. Unitech had formed a large joint venture with Norway based Telenor Group to create Unitech Wireless Limited. In August 2009, it secured a 50 billion rupee $1 billion loan from State Bank of India SBI, BO, to fund its mobile phone network rollout. And after almost two years in 2011, due to the 2G spectrum controversy explained below, the company got involved in a public spat due to which its chairman Sanjay Chandra Al while on bail over Telenor's pressure to do so, followed by news of Unitech's settlement of issues by agreeing to sell its entire stake in the Unitech wireless to shift the business to a new entity owned by the former almost one year later and then Telenor shifted the erstwhile United Wireless entire assets into a newly formed formed holding company as its majority-owned subsidiary Telewings Communications Services Private. Limited, another joint venture which 26% stake was owned by an investment firm named Lakshdeep Investments and Finance Private. Limited and rest of the 74% owned by Telenor directly, thus sealing the end of Unitech's presence into telecommunications so far, only after 15 days since last development. Unitech Wireless is one of the accused in the 2G Spectrum case. It is alleged that they were able to attain 2G licenses by bribing officials in the Indian government even though they didn't have any previous telecom experience. As a fallout of this they had a total of 22 licenses cancelled by virtue of a court order, and their managing director Sanjay Chandra sent to jail. <laughs> 